going on, everybody? Welcome to Our, our Love, Love Kitchen. Kitchen, where we make love every Tuesday. <laughs> In today's video, we are making cream of chicken and gnocchi soup. If you've ever had Olive Garden's cream of chicken and gnocchi, you know how good it is. But I found a way to make it a lot healthier and a little more hearty. And I'm really excited to share this recipe with you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and jump on in. Have you ever had Olive, Olive Garden's chicken gnocchi? No, I usually have their Zuppa Toscana. Oh, that's a good one too. Yes, my favorite. Um, okay, well. So, so what you'll need for this recipe, you're gonna need, we're doing a double batch, by the way. So I'm just giving you like the single batch measurements. So you're gonna need three fourths to one cup of celery, three fourths to one cup of finely chopped onion, a half a cup of chopped carrots, one and a half to two tablespoons of minced garlic, about a cup or if you like a little bit more, obviously you have to go by what you like. About a cup of chopped up fresh spinach, three fourths cup of flour, a half a cup of butter. There's more butter down there. So yeah, that's a quarter of a cup. Three fourths cup of fat free half and half, three fourths cup almond milk. These are nice glasses. Thanks. I think I bought those. I bought those. These are mine. Um, oh, he's trying to steal my good stuff. He tried to steal my pot. No, I didn't. You tried oh, to steal my nice stuff. Uh, whatever. Four cups of chicken broth, one teaspoon of chopped fresh rosemary, one tablespoon of Himalayan pink salt. Or more or less, if you like more or don't like as much. One fourth to one and a half tables or teaspoon of black pepper, one fourth teaspoon of nutmeg, we're not talking about basketball tricks. Huh? It's a nutmeg. You throw the ball between somebody's legs. A nutmeg. Oh my gosh. Of the earth. Well, he's, he's more than that. He's... Oh, no, he did. What a oh. Y'all saw the form, though. <laughs> you see my Jeff. Don't do that. Okay. Three fourths <laughs> teaspoon to one tablespoon of paprika. About two cups of chicken. And we just chopped up a rotisserie chicken. So you can either cook your own chicken, season it how you like it or whatever, or you can just get a rotisserie chicken like I did that's already full of flavor and it's already prepared for you and just cut basically the, all the meat off of the entire chicken. And last but not least, you're gonna need one package of gnocchi. This is two servings in here, so you're gonna need um, the smaller bags that have about three servings in a bag for one batch. But if you wanna make more batches, obviously, you're gonna need the bigger one. So the first step we're going to do is melt the butter in the pan and add the carrots, celery, onions, garlic, and cook five to 10 minutes until vegetables are soft. Just like my heart. <laughs> Look Good who's girl. here! You haven't done more embarrassing things right? on camera. <laughs> Seriously. You pour the celery, the carrots, and be careful, this is very hot. Just be confident and put it all the put way in the bowl. Put it over and put it in. Put there you go. There you go. Over the pot. There we go. Thank now we you. need the carrots. We need the onions. The onions. Mmm, you didn't even know they were in there. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. You said you, you told me earlier that <laughs> you didn't think they were in there. No, you weren't. Yes, I was. And the garlic, please. Garlic, mama. Bam! Nice. Okay, now I definitely know I'm not a vampire. Really? And stir in the veggies until they're soft. Why are you ripping your shirt? Because. <laughs> don't rip them. It's well, because one time I flexed and all this is went. Wait. Did 
Do you believe that? Nope. But why is your flex nope. rip, rip in your armpit? Because I flexed one day. I don't want to do it right now. And the whole shirt just went. Oh, really? What? I bet You're that helped a lot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Everybody's funny when the camera's on. You're trying to make a joke. I bet you couldn't roast anything if your life depended on it. I bet your hairline's definitely <laughs> in the top of that cabinet. <laughs> oh it isn't even dust. You look my mom cut it. Oh. It's not bad now, is it? You almost have a man bun. I'm excited for you to get The next step says add Where'd you four. Go? Oh. Now right you can go. <laughs> I went invisible, now I'm visible again. Oh, is that what it was? Yep. This is not to promote kids playing in the kitchen while you're cooking. They don't know what add they're talking four. about. The <laughs> next step is add flour to coat veggies evenly. The next step step after the vegetables are evenly coated is to add all of the liquid ingredients. You're going to add four cups of chicken broth. I'm going to try some chocolate LeBron Savannah. LeBron, if you're watching, <laughs> don't say some hate. Give me stuff my man LeBron. back. Don't say no hater stuff to LeBron. Give me my man back because he loves you more than he loves don't me. Don't say no hater stuff to LeBron. LeBron. You're splashing stuff. In the name of LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> this pan, this pan actually might be too small. And you want to add the three-fourths cup of fat-free half and half, which tastes just as good with the fat-free as it does with the full fat. And then the three-fourths cup of almond milk which tastes the same as if you use regular milk, in my opinion, and way less calories and fat. And then you stir this and you wanna bring it to a boil and you wanna allow it some time to thicken so that it, it's more of a normal soup base. So that'll take about eight to 10 minutes, depending, or our pot will probably take a little bit longer because it's double batch, but it'll take about eight to 10 minutes normally for it to um, get to the proper thickness. Okay, so now that it's boiling, we decided to transfer it to a larger pot because after we put the rest of the ingredients in, it's going to inevitably boil over and we don't want that. Now that it's thickened and gotten a little bit hardier, we're going to go ahead and add the rest of the ingredients. So we have, we have the chicken, the spinach, the paprika, we have the nut, the nutmeg, oh I did it. The pepper, the rosemary, the salt, and last but not least, you want to add the gnocchi. So now that all the rest of the ingredients are in there, you just want to you want to leave it to boil until the gnocchi is tender, which will be about uh, 10 minutes ish, and then you'll be ready to eat. So after our gnocchi is tender, we will be right back. So now it's done. It's been boiling for about what 10 minutes. Yeah. For a double batch, so you only need about eight to ten minutes. And the moment of truth. Step five, enjoy. Mm, that's really good. Mm. Two thumbs up. Was it easy to make? Yes. A lot of chopping, but easy to make. Yeah, a lot of chopping. Would you make it again? Yeah. And what would you rate it from one to 10? I would give this cream of chicken and yoki soup, I would give this a 9.725. <laughs> okay. I think it tastes good. It's a, it's a soup that you can eat. And get you some bread or something to dip it in. And we have a winner. Four thumbs up. If you guys decide to give this recipe a try, let us know in the comments. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. If you make it, don't forget to post a picture on Instagram and tag us at our love kitchen. And don't forget to subscribe, comment, 
like, share with all your friends, and stay tuned for a new recipe next Tuesday, the day we always make love in, in our the kitchen. kitchen. Well, this is good. I'm about to eat this and watch the broth. Thank you. I actually like this a lot, he said. With the soup? Good. He said he was sad that the one the other day got wasted. What, it got wasted? I would have eaten it Nobody put it up. It had chicken in it. I was going to eat it. You can't eat this This. It was only out for 12 here. hours. No, it was not. I would have eaten it. I thought you guys ate it all. Oh. I mean, you can cook with us if you want. Oh. Yeah, but there's nothing. Yes, there is. We gotta put all this stuff in the pot. And you know you want to, so hop in. <laughs> well, then why are you doing it? Because if I get hurt, it's my fault. If you get hurt, it's my fault. Wow. Only off camera. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh,